What's going on guys? Happy Sunday morning to you all and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You're a returning subscriber. As always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I woke up this morning and uh, was greeted with this on my news feed and it's about a story out of Charlotte and uh, I think Charlotte, North Carolina. And it's about a shootout that happened on a bus between the bus driver and a patron. Yes, a patron. And uh, it got really crazy. And I'm going to talk about it a little bit today. First things first, when somebody's doing their job, it requires what? Training, right? They're trained in what to do and what not to do. And regardless of what you see in this video clip, I show you, I think the bus driver somewhat did the right thing but um you know a person's life when it's in danger and the threat is real and presented to you as a bona fide threat to your face sometimes you have to take extreme measures to ensure the safety of you and those around you and uh i think this is one case but there's one thing that the bus driver did do that i didn't agree with but um Let's talk about it. Let, let me show you this video real quick. Take a look. Side tonight, getting the first look at dramatic video tonight of a shootout on a cat's bus. And it started while the bus was moving. First told you about that shooting. It happened last week. Happened when a passenger on the bus who police have identified as this man right here, Omari Tobias, pulled out a gun on the bus operator. His name, David Fullard. Both men shot at each other. Both were hit all while the bus kept moving and other passengers dove for cover. Now, WBTV's Caroline Hicks walks us through the chilling footage inside that bus. It was around 11.15 in the morning when passenger Omari Tobias asked the driver, David Fullard, if he could get off the bus in between stops near the Steel Creek Premium Outlet Mall. When Fullard said no, things got tense. A few minutes later, Tobias can be seen pulling out a gun and walking towards Fullard. That's when Fullard pulls out his own gun. Both start shooting. As shots ring out, two other passengers can be seen running to the back of the bus, both ducking for cover by the rear doors. Fullard then stops the bus and gets out of his seat to talk to Tobias. Fullard, standing in the aisle, shoots at Tobias again. And he doesn't stop there. After Tobias runs off of the bus, Fullard steps off and fires a final shot. In Charlotte, Caroline Hicks, WBTV. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was the footage of the shootout between the bus driver and this guy right here, Omari Tobias, 22 years old. Idiot. And I'm keeping it real with you. I've been on buses before I really got on my feet. And I was younger than some of you guys have too. And everybody knows for a fact a bus driver cannot stop between stops. For two reasons, two main reasons. One reason is they have supervisors in unmarked cars and transit vehicles that monitor these uh, bus drivers to make sure they're on, on time with their route and they're picking up all the passengers. Because these transit companies, guys, believe it or not, get a lot of complaints from dissatisfied customers saying the bus was late or that, something like that. And, you know, they have people out there that try to comply to make sure that the bus drivers are complying with the uh, laws and things that, you know, go entail with the job. So he's always, you know, being watched or he doesn't know when he's being watched or not. Another thing is we don't know how long this guy was on the, uh, a bus driver. A lot of times these guys are on probation, you know, when they're early in their uh, employment. And they're, they're watched to make sure they're doing the right thing. That's number one. Number two is this, lawsuits. If a bus driver makes an inappropriate stop and somebody rear-ends him or they get in any kind of accident, they have to be 
where they make stops at the appropriate place that's designated for them to stop at to avoid lawsuits. Everybody knows this. And that's one of the things I don't like. You know, it's like younger generation now, they don't give a damn about anything. You wouldn't mad at the man because the man can't stop between stops. I don't know if it's because you fell asleep. We've seen that a lot of times. You be on a bus, somebody fall asleep, they wake up, the bus then took off, and they tell you, hey, stop here. You can't stop between stops. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a safety issue. I'm sure the man told him that. So what happens is, like we've seen on, a lot of times on transit systems, arguments ensue between the bus driver and, and the person. First thing is this, this guy going to go up there and pull the gun out while he up there and then put the hoodie on. You see that? He's standing up there with the hoodie on, bus full of people, a public safety threat. You pull a gun out. Now, this man can't stop. And those people can't get off. Somebody pull a gun in public, people usually what? Scatter. Can't nobody go nowhere. So that's wrong. And you right there, uh, Mr. Omani, Mark. You understand what I'm saying? That's the first mistake you made. Another mistake you made is you didn't think that bus driver was just as crazy as you. Even though you arguing at that guy and you think he's nothing, that's still a life that's talking back at you. Another soul that looks you square in your eye and tells you no. And that's the thing. You didn't know he was as crazy as you was going to be. Well, he was down to get crazy as you was going to be. You see what I'm saying? And I'm going to say this real quick. And... I Pardon me with this expression, but it has to be said. Everybody want to be a real nigga. But when real shit happened, you see what you see what the outcome is. He shot back at that dude and hit him. Did you see him when they was talking? The guy ran in the back. Oh, you shot me. Oh, now you the victim. When you pull that gun, you might as well have fired it. Like I told you, somebody pull a gun out, it's best to use it. You have to be careful with carrying guns on you. Because a lot of times it pulls you to show somebody or intimidate somebody. It gives you power that you feel you have. And it caused a whole bunch of trouble. This guy pulled the gun out. Yeah, hit me. And he tell the guy, stay behind the line. You see what I'm saying? He defined. He stepped over that line. He blasted him. You see what I'm saying? Luckily, he survived. But people are not playing these games no more with anybody. That man got a job to do. Listen, he shot, went up on the curb, gained control. Just that argument of uh, Omari Tobias being selfish. Because he either slept on the uh, past the stop or anything where the man told you can't stop. It ain't nothing but a few uh, ticks up the road. Just get out and walk back. You know what I'm saying? A bus driver is not your personal sh uh, chauffeur. They're a public service. They're here to serve you. But they have guidelines they got to follow as well. And if you can't understand, they keep your fucking ass off the bus. You see them? He shot the bus driver, right? Bus driver shot him. He jumped off the thing. Did you see him leave the gun when the bus driver shot at him again? And I feel so bad for those people that was on the bus that had to witness that. Now, this is the problem I have with the, what the bus driver did. The one thing I, ha I have, when they got the shooting and the bus driver stopped, <clears throat> he should have opened the doors. Them doors were open. He should have opened the doors and let the guy get off. Then when the guy did get off, when he shot, and the people forced the door open. When the guy got off the bus, you know, you went out the bus and tried to shoot the guy again. It was like you were trying to kill this dude. Now, that part, I don't know about. I don't know about that. Now, this guy got off to where they fired him. And, you know, they seen the video like I do. So I don't know what the protocol is with uh, CATS, which stands for Charlotte Area Transit System. I don't know the protocol, but he got fired and no charges was filed against him. Should charges be filed against him? Honestly, no, because people are getting tired of this stuff. That man's life was in jeopardy. You put a hoodie on, like you concealing your identity the way if you shoot him, you can shoot him and just jump out that door right there. I have no problem with what he did. Now, I do have a problem with him firing cross lengthwise down with the guy when the guy wasn't shooting back at him. And it was people in there. Them bullets could have ricocheted off one of the metal poles and everything. That's the problem I have with him. And then to go arguing, going back and forth with him, you could have opened the bus. After you shot him and you seen he was wounded, you could have opened the bus and let him out. Call the police. He ain't going far. You see me? When he was out there shooting at him, he was sitting there walking. He didn't even know what the hell was going on. A gut shot is a very serious uh, shot when you hit with a bullet. That's the thing. But I'm telling you, the bottom line of this story is this. 
Stop trying to tell people what to do with their job. You know what I'm saying? This guy right here is an idiot. You know, and I don't even want to talk about his appearance or whatever with the tattoos on his face and all that shit. But I mean, bro, like you're on the bus. You need this guy to take you somewhere. Now, whether he let you off the stop you wanted, which wasn't even a stop, you understand or not, you still got to follow protocol. And that's the thing. Nobody want to follow protocol. Nobody give a damn. Everybody says this. I don't get has this. I don't give a F attitude. But if you don't give a F, walk everywhere. Because a bus driver and a bus system is there for the public's convenience. That man got a job to do. You got a family to feed. And for you to get mad because he didn't drop you off, you got to walk a few hundred feet. All of a sudden, his life ain't worth shit. It is what it is. Guys, leave me a comment. Tell me how you feel about this situation. This is lunacy. People are getting tired of it. Now, should that guy had a, had a gun on him? No. You know what I'm saying? Bus drivers are not supposed to be armed, but I, I don't know if when you have a concealed carry license, if that still counts as you can do that when you're at work. I don't know. But the bottom line is it saved him. I ain't got nothing to say. But um, this guy, Omari Tobias, behind bars, looking stupid as hell. You know what I mean? Sitting in lockup whenever, when he was sitting in booking after he, you know, got medical attention. Everybody that's been locked up goes through this. Damn, I shouldn't have did that. It is what it is. Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. I love you as always, guys. I appreciate you coming out and watching the video. Hit the thumbs up on your way out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Take care.